Welcome back to FOMA Solutions. Today's video will be giving us more insights on how to get the quadratic formula, what we usually call the almighty what formula. We are still on quadratic equations and inequalities, but today we talk much more about the quadratic formula, how we are going to generate that formula from the quadratic what equation. It's kind of simple. We use what we call the squaring of what sides or completing of what squares. So when you know how to complete squares, you are good to go. And you don't know how to complete squares, don't worry. We'll be doing more of that in subsequent what videos. And when you need it, you can send us a comment and we'll try to help you with that. So let's see how we derive the quadratic formula. Assuming we have the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, um, where a is not equal to 0. Now we want to get the roots from this equation um, by a formula or a general word formula. So this is what we do. Our first step is to always make the x squared unity. That means make the coefficients of x squared our highest word power to be 1. So we do that by dividing both right hand side and left hand side with what a 10 by 10 so dividing through by a we are going to get x squared plus b over a x plus c over a equals zero now this is what we do next we send the constant to the right hand side and we want to do terms with x and terms without x to the other side so we end up getting x squared plus b over ax equal to negative c over a and that's clear the next thing we do is to add and subtract the square of half of the coefficient of what x it simply means we get the coefficient of x which is a over b over a we divide it by 2 and we square what the results divide the coefficients of x by 2 and square the results that's what we are going to do now someone will ask why do we do that is just um, to make x squared plus b over ax plus something to be what a perfect squared what relation or expression we want to make this side a perfect square relation so to make it a perfect square relation we need to add half the coefficient of x and square the result to both sides of what the equation so that we do not change anything but we make the left hand side a perfect equation and we have an equivalent also at the right hand side so the half of coefficient of x is b over a divided by 2 and we can also write this as b over a times 1 over 2 okay and this eventually gives us b over 2a multiply numerator separately denominator separately so this is half the coefficient of what x and when we want the square of it we are going to get b over 2a all squared okay so this is the expression we want to add to the left hand side of 
this equation and the right hand side just to make the left hand side a perfect square what equation or expression so let's do that here so adding to both sides we'll be getting x squared plus b over a x plus r squared of half of the coefficient of x which will be b over 2a all squared equals we are adding to the other side to b over 2a all squared minus c over a okay so we just kind of add to the left hand side and to the right hand side and it doesn't change anything with our equation so now let's see what happens we want to factorize the left hand side okay since it's now a perfect square we can factorize and when you factorize this the left hand side of the equation we are going to get x plus b over 2a all squared if you want to be sure that when you factorize this we are going to get that you just expand this and you get that so it simply means you factorize this you get that you expand this you get that or let's say when you have a perfect square what quadratic equation is simply what to have factors out of it so we can use that same idea and factorize this expression we have this you expand this you have that okay then let's come to our right hand side we are going to get b squared over 4 a squared here minus c over a okay now we maintain this x plus b over 2a all squared equals we need what lcm so lcm for 4a squared and a will be 4a squared 4a squared goes here one times by the numerator we have b squared minus a goes here 4a times okay so 4a by c give us 4ac with that we can move on with this expression here we now want to find the expression in the bracket here so we send the word square there to make a square root so x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus square root of the whole expression here b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared and we are kind of getting closer and closer to our quadratic formula you get here you only transfer the square there to become a square root and we know at this level you have a positive number squared will give you a positive value a negative number squared also gives you a positive value so don't forget to bring your plus or minus sign so that this expression here can be positive and can be negative as well because of the square so we can continue here now we are going to get x plus b over 2a equals now let's do something here from indices when you have square root of a fraction you can find the square root of the numerator separately and find the square root of the denominator also separately you know that square root of 4 is what let's start from the denominator square root of 4 is 2 and square root of a squared is a so our denominator becomes 2a okay so square root of 4 a squared becomes 2a but we can't find the square root of the numerator so we maintain it that way square root of b squared minus 4ac don't forget your plus or minus sign 
it still remains the same. Okay, now we want to find x, so we can now set our b over a to the left hand side so that we maintain the x at the right hand side. So our x is equal to negative b over 2a, that's when we send this to the right hand side plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is just another form of fraction here which we can work by finding the LCM. We have 2a here, 2a here, so our LCM for both fractions becomes what? 2a, so that we have negative b plus or minus square root of, since this is also 2a, square root of b squared minus 4ac. And this is what we call the quadratic what, formula. So the quadratic formula is given by x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Please don't forget we compute minus b plus or minus the square root with its component before dividing by the 2a. So that gives us the quadratic formula that we also known as the almighty formula for some I hope this formula is not almighty because we have mightier one now. At this level, we take it as the word quadratic formula. So with this, we can solve for the root of any quadratic equation without having to go through all the necessary steps. And the step we use in deriving this formula is called what? completing the square method, which we may be using alongside what? Uh, lessons. So we'll be ending today's video here which we were able to derive the quadratic formula and we have everything here starting from my left to my right as I'm facing the board and you can go through it step by step and you'll be able to derive the quadratic formula but don't forget to memorize it as well because you'll be using them to work a whole lot of situations concerning quadratic equations so this